Did you know that shifting just $10 a month to shopping at a small local business instead of a chain can have a huge impact on our local economy? Bill Brunel joins us now from Main Street in Sykesville with more. Hi, Bill. Hey, how are you? So what can consumers do right now to help their favorite local businesses on the road to recovery? Well, we've got several actionable tips that your viewers can use right now to help small businesses and help the communities that the small businesses are located in. The very first is to take the pledge to buy local on our website at independentwestand.org. And you're going to make a commitment to buy local and you need to follow through. You can share that pledge on uh, Facebook and Twitter and tell your friends and family to do the same. The other thing is we have a huge contest going on called the America's Main Street Contest. And the reason I'm standing on Main Street here in Sykesville, Maryland, just a few uh, minutes outside of Baltimore is because they won the contest in 2020. The grand prize winner wins $25,000 and they won in 2020 really at the height of the pandemic in June. And what they decided to do with that money is reinvest it in their local merchants and help them deal with COVID. And during this time period, not one business closed in Sykesville. In fact, they added two businesses. It's really easy to nominate your favorite Main Street. I know Baltimore has some wonderful Main Street programs. Go to the Independent We Stand website. Again, it's independentwestand.org. There's going to be a big banner that says nominate your Main Street. This is an online contest. It's easy to fill out the form. When you're done, just vote, vote, vote. Share your vote on all your social media channels because the winner with the most votes wins the $25,000. The second thing you can do as consumers is shift your mindset when it comes to shopping. Just a small shift in the way you shop can have a huge difference. In fact, if, if, if every family in America just spent $10 more at a locally owned business, like you said before, it has a huge impact to the amount of about $9.3 billion on local economies. And then we'd ask that you look for local. Spend some time online, figure out what businesses in your community are locally owned. A lot of chambers and buy local organizations, even Main Street groups have great directories on their website, so you know where to shop local. Or you can download the Independent We Stand app, which is absolutely free of charge. It's very easy to use. You could be looking for anything from lunch to a book. You type that in there and we'll serve up those locally owned businesses. And can you explain why it's so important to buy local and what impact that has? Yeah, well, there's actually a growing body of evidence that shows that locally owned businesses recirculate a ton more into local communities. One study actually showed that three times more recirculates in the local community uh, versus shopping at the big box stores or the national chains. And that same, same study found that two times more recirculates when you eat at a local restaurant versus a local restaurant chain. So that recirculation of money means more money for schools and police officers and firefighters, better roads. Uh, you can make a real impact by spending your hard earned dollars at locally owned businesses. All right, we certainly will be checking out independentwestand.org. Bill Burnell, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.